Oh, hi. How's it going? Let's talk about Jacob Sartorius. What is going on guys, it is John here. So today, I am here to expose the one, the only, Jacob, Jacob Saggy Tits. Sorry, Sartorius. I know fans are gonna go crazy that I said that. Oh no! But, let's expose some. I've, I found something out quite recently that some of you who are viewing this video may already know. Jacob Sartorius stooped to the level of creating a fake Vivo account. I know, right? You're going, what? What do you mean? You fans of Jacob Sartorius are probably freaking out right now. Like, what? No, he didn't. It's a real channel. What are you doing? Stop hating on our beloved leader. Or whatever. He created a fake Vivo channel to get his music out there on YouTube. Now, you're probably going, okay, we know what Vivo is, okay, John, we know what Vivo is, but how did he create a fake, a fake Vivo account? Simply put, some of you may know that he recently released a song, or a preview, or a song, preview of a song, I don't even know, called Hit or Miss. I found it recently, I listened to it for about five seconds, and then my ears started to bleed, so I stopped listening to it. I know you're probably going, well, what? What do you mean? If you looked at, if you looked closely at the username, it said Jacob Sartorius Vivo. On clicking on the channel name, I found that it's a fake. And you're going, wait, how, what? Well, if you look closely at the picture that I'm posting right now, you can see that one, the Vivo channel, yes, it has the links on the side and on the banner but it doesn't lead to anything I clicked on it I was like okay maybe you have to be you know maybe maybe you have to be a uh, certain amount of subscribers to get a vivo channel no it's not true you know why because vivo is a paid service okay I recently paid for a vivo account I'm waiting for them to create it it'll be up by December which is quite a while away but if you look at another artist's Vivo channel, for instance, let's take a look at Eminem's Vivo channel, okay? Take a look. You can see it's got the banner, it's got the Vivo links, his Facebook, his website, his whatever it may be. And as you can see, look, Eminem Vivo with the check mark. I know, right? Crazy. It's got the check mark. Now, if you go back to Jacob's little Vivo channel here, it has no check mark. And the Vivo channel does not go anywhere. Because if you pay for the service, you get the verified check mark, you get the page on their website, so it goes vivo.com slash artist slash the musician. When clicking on the link, I was like, okay, maybe it's real. It's not real. You know why? They made up the link so then that people would go, oh, it's a real channel. It's not because they don't know who Jacob Sartorius is on Vivo. He did not pay for a real account. And I know that his mom apparently manages all his social media, but did she think of doing this or was he like, hey, mom? I want to create a fake Vivo account, okay? It'll blow up my views on YouTube. It doesn't. Because if you search up Eminem Vivo on YouTube, it'll come up. It's the first thing that comes up. His videos are the first thing that come up. The channel comes up. It's the verified... <coughs> sorry, the verified check mark. And it's not there on his channel. It's fake. I know, right? So I know that there's going to be so many of the fans going, What? No, stop hating on Jacob. You swine. You pig. You, you cringe fest. Kill yourself. Drink bleach. I'm fine. I already did that earlier. But 
I mean, this is what he stooped to. This is what his management stooped to, or whatever. To create a fake Vivo account and not say, Hey, Jacob, do you want a real Vivo account? You can get one for like a hundred bucks, okay? Maybe he was like, oh, I don't, you know, I don't have any money. He probably, he, he's got tons of money, okay? The, the kid makes probably thousands of dollars because of his popularity. And they couldn't go, oh, well, let's create a fake account because we don't want to create a real one because he's not a musician in the first place. He's not a musician, okay? I know they'll be going, stop hating, he's a musician. Have you seen the video of him doing Sweatshirt Live? When you wake up in the morning, yeah, and when you walk the halls, see girl, you know you wanna flaunt it. Said this may be the start of something new, girl. Does that look like a live performance? He is lip syncing the whole entire track, okay? That's not how you perform music. I know that there's been mishaps and stuff with big celebrities in the music industry. However, when it comes to you yourself performing a song and it has a guitar in it, you should be the one to be able to play guitar. You should be able the one to be able to sing, okay? Sing the song and also not be lip syncing to your background vocals. That's not how you do music in the industry. This is the one thing I'm really mad at, it, at today's society, okay? I'm gonna rant about this for a couple minutes. It seems like all these kids, um, these Viners, and okay, there's nothing wrong with Viners, I love Vine, okay? But the, these kids, like Jacob Sartorius on Musical.ly, they blow up on the internet, they can become instantly famous, freaking Alex from Target, okay? But, I don't know. And... You get this kid, he blows up in a matter of days, months, weeks, a year, whatever. And in that time, he releases music. He sells it on iTunes. From that, he gets number one singles. He gets thousands of dollars. He, he can't sing, but he, he obviously, you know, he releases music. He did that stupid All of Me cover that I could probably do better. I'm sorry. I probably could, honestly. Anyone probably could. And that gets millions of views. And what makes me mad is there are so many musicians out there, such as myself, such as indie musicians who are trying their best to work their butt off to get themselves in the industry and make a name for themselves. You know, you got little 12... You got little twerps like saggy tits over here getting millions of views because of lip syncing in a video. You're joking me, right? This is what society has come to. I have no faith in humanity anymore. Okay, back to the topic at hand. So as you can see, I'm going to talk about this for a couple more minutes. There's no verified check mark. There is no, nothing is certified for their Vivo because I noticed that if you go youtube.com slash say Eminem Vivo, his channel will come up instantly. I went to Jacob Sartorius Vivo, nothing came up. Crazy, right? And then what happened is obviously, as I said before, there is no Vivo page for this kit. They didn't pay any money to have an official Vivo page. And the second part of it is if you go to M&M's and you click on the Vivo link, it goes right to his page. It's verified. It's certified. It is registered with Vivo. This is what happens. This is what society, this is what society has come to. Kids making videos, getting millions of views, getting tons of money, and creating fake music accounts. I have lost faith in humanity. Okay guys, that's it. That's it for this video. I'm going to get slaughtered by the YouTube comments because of the simple fact 
that I made this video, and the fact that Jacob Sartorius fans are going to kill me now. Okay, see you in the next